Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. This video is all things Valentine's Day. I have two delicious recipes to share with you guys. I'm gonna be sharing a brunch recipe and also a delicious dinner recipe. So let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So I absolutely adore Valentine's Day. So I wanted to share with you guys some fun ideas that you can do this upcoming holiday. So first up is a super simple and easy brunch. So I like to start by making some bacon. You can do turkey bacon, pork bacon, whatever you want. I like to line a baking sheet, pop the bacon on there, and I bake it at 400 degrees. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how thick the bacon is. Now that we have the bacon in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the waffles. So I just bought a like pre-made waffle mix from the store, but you can definitely make your own if you're up to it. This one's really simple because you just add the mix, some water and oil, and it is good to go. So now that we have our batter all mixed, we're gonna go ahead and get started on making our waffles. I'm gonna be using this adorable mini dash waffle maker. It makes heart-shaped waffles. My sister gifted this to me for my birthday last year. I love it. If you guys know my heart addiction, then you know. But the key to making the perfect waffles is to only add a little bit of batter. I added a little bit too much in my first waffle, but after that one, I was able to get the hang of it again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on a little fruit bowl that we're gonna have on the side. I'm using my adorable new heart bowls I got from Amazon. I'll try to link as much stuff down below for you guys as I can, but I like to add some strawberries, bananas, blueberries. It's super good to have on the side with the brunch, but also it's amazing on top of the waffles. So I love putting chocolate chips on top of my waffle. It is so good, especially if the waffle's like really hot, the chocolate chips will kind of just melt on it. So now I like to make a fun little display. So I already had this cheese board. I thought the heart-shaped waffles were just perfect for it. I will link it down below. It is so good. I get so much use out of it. And then I put our bacon on our little platter and I end up pouring like some maple syrup in a little container. And then I also wanted to make some like Valentine's inspired mimosas. So the only thing I switched switched out was instead of orange juice, I used strawberry lemonade. And that was my first time ever doing that. And it was so good. You guys have to try it. So here's how our spread turned out. Isn't it so fun? This would actually be so cute for a Galentine's. If you had some girlfriends over, you could make this. I'm sure they would love it. So I told Ryan I was filming a Valentine's Day video and he surprised me with these beautiful flowers. I've never had hot pink roses before, you guys. I usually always get red ones or white ones. So this was such a treat. So I wanted to go ahead and get this set up and then we're gonna get started on dinner.
So now I wanna share with you guys my creamy lemon pasta recipe. I shared this on my YouTube channel when I first started my channel, and it is still one of our favorite recipes, you guys. It is so good. If you love pasta, you will absolutely love this recipe. If you love lemon, like it's just bursting with flavor. So I'm using my new Dutch oven that I got from Home Goods. I'm obsessed with this, you guys. But to make this recipe, you start with chopping up six pieces of bacon and like some chunks. And you just wanna go ahead and fry it up till it's slightly brown. Once it's slightly brown, go ahead and add your pound of shrimp in there. So what makes this recipe so flavorful, you guys, is I cooked that bacon and then I fried the shrimp in the bacon grease. So the shrimp was just bursting with flavor and then I add tons of garlic and I cook the garlic until it's fragrant. So now that the water is boiled, I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles in, and then I went ahead and made the sauce for this recipe. So for the sauce, I used some fresh lemon juice, olive oil. I will have all of the measurements down below for you guys. I also seasoned it up with salt, pepper, some chili flakes, which gives it some really good flavor. And then I like to add an entire bag of spinach. So I'll add half of it, let it kind of wilt down, then I'll add the other half. And when the spinach is all wilted, you know the sauce is all done and ready for you to add the noodles in. So I personally like to take my pasta out the water and mix it this way because it makes it super easy to mix when the noodles are slightly wet. But if you wanna drain your noodles, just reserve a little bit of that pasta water so that way everything mixes well, especially when you go in and add that Parmesan cheese, you want it to really melt into the noodles. Here's the time where you'd want to taste it, make sure it tastes great for you. So I wanted a little bit more seasoning, so I added some more salt, some pepper, and chili flakes, and it was perfect after that, you guys. Look how delicious this looks. Like, it is just bursting with flavor. So now that dinner's all done, I wanted to do a quick and easy little tablescape. So I added the flowers to the table and then I already had these like chargers set out on the table, but I added a plate and then we're gonna be using my new heart bowls on top and it came out so cute. It was so easy to set up and looked really nice. we had to pair a delicious wine with this recipe. We are having my favorite wine at Limbrusco. If you guys have never had it, you seriously have to try it. It is so affordable and so good. So here's how our little dinner turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pasta in our heart-shaped bowls and we'll be ready to enjoy. Okay guys, that is everything I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this Valentine's Day inspired video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, join the family here on my channel, and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.